So if you see molecular mass, molecular mass is the sum of atomic masses of the elements present in a molecule. So basically, you take any mm -hmm. covalent molecule. So for example, you take uh, they have taken molecule of CH4 methane. Mm -hmm. So when you uh, when we look at uh, methane, it will have molecules of CH4. Is it making sense? Yeah. CH4. CH4 would consist of molecules of CH4. So there would be a compact. So each of this each of this unit would be CH4. Is it making sense? This would be CH4. Yeah. The sizes are the same. It is just due mm -hmm. to the drawing they differ a bit. So each of this is a unit of CH4. Is it making sense? Yeah. Similarly, if I look at uh, you know structure of uh, say ethane so each would be single molecule of ethane is it making sense yeah. but for formula mass what happens is if you look at the uh, ionic uh, uh, ionic substances now they don't have any discrete molecules as their constituent units they don't have discrete molecules so their structure for example in nacl Again, this is something that they cover in class 9th, class 10th also. So, this is how the structure of NaCl looks like. So, you will have ions of sodium surrounded by ions of chlorine. So, here, whenever you are using uh, ionic compounds, the word that is used is formula mass. Is it making sense? Yeah. So, the formula such as NaCl is used to calculate formula mass instead of molecular mass. As in solid state, NaCl does not exist as a single entity. So you won't have these, you know, separate entities of NaCl. You won't have separate okay. entities of NaCl. So that is why when we are dealing with the ionic compounds, usually mm -hmm. the word that is used is formula mass. Is it making sense? Yeah. So if you see... They have said molecular mass of glucose because this is a covalent molecule. Are we clear till now? Yeah. 